we have uh, some very talented folks uh, who are here inspecting the plant every day. Here's one of them. Uh, and uh, so I'm just here to get a, a, a sense of what the situation is uh, uh, on the ground. And obviously they've made, uh, they've put in place uh, uh, systems to deal with higher water levels, and our folks have inspected those. And so right now we think uh, that they're taking an appropriate approach to doing it. I'm not going to predict what's going to happen with the water level. Uh, our, our job is to make sure that the, the licensee does uh, their job to make sure the plants stay safe. And uh, right now they appear to be taking uh, proactive steps to do that. So uh, you know, we'll continue to watch with them uh, as the, the water level uh, continues to, um, uh, to progress. And, uh, uh, and uh, you know, as you can see from the site, they have uh, the ability to deal with a higher water level than the river is currently at, and uh, so we'll continue to monitor. Uh, all the plants in the U.S. have been designed to deal with what we think are historically the largest possible floods, and, and this plant is designed to deal with a flood that's at a much higher level than what we're seeing right now, uh, about 906 feet, and uh, so there's still some ways to go before we would get to that to that level. Uh, but uh, you know, as I said, it could I'm, happen though. Well, you know. It, 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 it's, everything's possible, um, but right now that's not anticipated that we would see uh, the water levels get that high. And, uh, and uh, certainly if they were to do that, there would be uh, uh, mitigating measures that could be taken to ensure that the plant continued to, uh, to function and, and operate safely. But uh, right now the focus is making sure they're prepared to uh, deal with the current situation and the possibility of higher water levels. <laughs>